It's easier than you might think to copy a collection of home movies on VHS tape onto your computer. You probably already have the video recorder and the computer, but in addition you'll need a video input device like this one here and maybe a start adapter and some tables. The video input device may already be fitted to your computer, but if not, adapters can be bought for as little as £30 on sites such as Amazon. Now some setups may also require using a start adapter that costs around £10, either a short, small one like this one here, or a slightly longer one that comes with the cables built in. Fitting the USB adapter is nice and simple. Find a spare USB socket on the computer and plug it in. And you may want to refer to the manual to make sure whether or not you need to install the software first. Now ideally you should choose a USB socket with nothing plugged into the adjacent slots. Taking a look at the adapter, you can see the different connections that can be used on it. The white and the red phono sockets or RCA phono connectors are used for the audio and the red carries the right audio and white the left. The yellow socket is used for composite video. And this black socket with four connectors, the rectangle is a guide to make sure the table is plugged in correctly, is called S-Video. S-Video offers better quality than composite, so use it if you can. Now it's time to take a look at the video player. Don't be fooled if you see a yellow composite socket on the front of the player. This is normally for recording onto the video player, so you won't see anything when you connect to it. The sockets you want will be round the back. If you're very lucky, there will be either a composite or S-Video socket there already, but normally there will just be a couple of start sockets, like on our video player here. And this is where the adapter comes in. If you've got a switch on the top, make sure it's set in the correct direction for recording, and then plug it into the start socket. And then take the tables from the other end and plug them into the adapter, making sure you match up the colours correctly. Finally, don't forget to plug in the power for the video player and then you're ready to press play and start your video recording software in Windows.